Scorpio, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below. Along with my husband, if you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we will be pulling a final message from the universe. Now, we can see here that recently you were going through a little bit of... Um, I don't want to say confusion, but just a lack of clarity in regards to um, maybe you felt like you were on your way, you were on your path, everything felt good, and then all of a sudden things did not feel so good anymore. All of a sudden things felt confusing. What the heck's going on? What happened? Everything was on the right track. Everything was hunky-dory. What happened? Um, and um, essentially, spirit is guiding you through... Um, they want you to understand that when you create systems in your life that feel energetically aligned with who you are, that is you connecting to God. That is you connecting to source. That is you connecting to your spirit. And so when you uh, wake up and you uh, do things, you have activities that you do, whatever, whether, whether it's wake up, make drink coffee, whether it's wake up, exercise, whatever it is that you do, wake up, go to work, check your emails. If you wake up and feel stressed or if you wake up and feel like, you're, you should do something or you have to do something, you are not energetically aligned, you see. So spirit wants you to determine for yourself what, what systems can you implement and practices can you implement, Scorpio, where you wake up and every, mo every part of your day has an intention that serves you. And it serves you because you feel very satisfied with the choices you are making. And, and, and if you are feeling any lack of satisfaction, it means that there are some, there's another uh, practice that could be implemented. For instance, I used to wake up, meditate, and then read. And that was working for a while, and then it didn't, right? And then it didn't. So all of a sudden, I felt that queen of swords kind of lack of clarity. I was feeling like, well, wait a minute, this isn't feeling as good anymore. This isn't feeling satisfying anymore. And then I realized, well, it was because I was really wanted to get my exercise practice in. And for those that know me, I, I work, and, and for those that don't, doesn't matter. I work out with Zuzka Light, Z-U-Z-K-A-L-I-G-H-T.com. I work out with her every single morning and, um, or have been for the longest time. And I have stopped doing that recently because we had some big changes. And I noticed that my schedule, I wasn't feeling as satisfied with my life because I wasn't sticking to a schedule that worked because my spirit, my spirit knows that if I train that style of training, which is only 12 to 15 minutes a day, right? Warm up, cool down, but the whole workout's 12 to 15 minutes. If I do that, then, then everything works for me. My channels are open, right? My, my body is feeling good and I am here and ready to serve. Um, if I don't do that, I'm here, right? But I am not in the energy that I am inspired to be. And everything is about being inspired by the version of yourself that you are creating. And so your, the justice card is here to remind you about the law of attraction. And so anytime you are feeling confused or feeling disoriented or feeling like things are not worth flowing in the direction, it's because there's a level of satisfaction or a system that's not in place that's really allowing you to feel aligned with who you are and inspired by who you are. So don't worry so much about what is going on. Just try to align with the, and try not to look at things from the surface, right? Well, if I do this, I might get taxed and this. Don't talk yourself into all the reasons why it's going to work or it's not going to work. Just feel into your heart and feel energetically. If I did this, how would I feel satisfaction wise? Would I feel satisfied if I did this? And the answer is always going to be right there for you from the level of satisfaction. Okay. Um, because we can see here that right now there is going to be, it feels like from this confusion, there might have been a lack of, um, uh, you might have feel, felt disconnected from some relationships in your life. Maybe you felt like things have come crashing down. Maybe feeling like, you know, maybe you were hoping for a long-term relationship to, you know, get, get married or you were hoping for um, a family matter to become, um, you know, you were, you were expecting it to rise up and, and it's sort of feeling like things uh, energetically are not flowing in the direction of, of evolution when it comes to you and your loved ones. Um, 
but the spirits just want to remind you that everything happens in time. So now is a good time to just be the observer of your life. Just a neutral observer with seahorse spirit, right? That message of not my circus, not my monkeys. Focus on you. Focus on your energetic alignment with your life, right? Energetically, don't think about stressful things because then you're going to feel stressful inside of you. And then you're going to respond to that stress by stressing yourself out even more. Intense workouts, waking up and checking your emails, getting out of the house, rushing, grinding. We want to hustle, ladies and gentlemen, but with intention, right? We want to have intentional hustle. We do not want to be just winging around life, right? Hoping for the best. It won't work. So at the end of the day, whenever you are feeling that lack of inspiration, you're just feeling like things are not moving in the direction of the up and up. You're feeling like the passion is going. You're feeling like things, again, things were flowing. And now all of a sudden it doesn't seem like they are flowing between a relationship, between energy, whatever it is going on in your life. And we're just here to remind you that things will always work out with time. And right now it's just the remembrance that you must be in um, alignment with your inner being and your higher self and connected to that feeling state of satisfaction and bliss and so forth. Um, because right now, currently where we, it sits, uh, you're going through a series of um, circumstances that are going to allow you to upgrade and evolve the awareness you have with what you want in your own life. So there, perhaps there might have been some things that you thought you wanted to have happen, um, but spirits are letting you know that whatever you think you wanted to have happen, it's going to actually turn out a much better way. But with your thoughts and your focus, you know, grabbed on to what you, how you think it's going to go, it's going to affect your perspective, right? And so that's why spirits are saying, just watch and wait. And that's what we're getting here from that King of Cups and from that Seven of Swords. That King of Cups always represents this strong, um, very diplomatic uh, leader. And um, with that Cups there, that just represents you, Scorpio. That just represents you, right? And that Seven of Wands is overcoming obstacles that allow you to speak your truth and live authentically for you. And so this is what you're going through right now. So at the end of the day, the best thing that you can do for yourself is just keep moving forward. Look up to the stars, meaning that try not to look up at your life at what is and and try to fix it from where you are right you just got to keep going you just got to keep going stay consistent stick to the systems that work focus on your energetic alignment satisfaction and happiness is always what you want to base your energetic alignment on if you feel like you're rushing in life if you feel like you're stressed if you feel like you're trying or or efforting or or thinking you're not in an al in alignment right so then you would want to be like okay Clear emotion away, clear thoughts away. Remember, you are not your thoughts, you are not your emotions, you're not your body. So you want to clear all that away. You do not want to connect to those as if those are who you are. So that way you can really connect back to your heart and connect back to your truth. And what will happen then is you will become more aligned with what will leave you feeling more satisfied in your life uh, action-wise. And once you piece the action with the alignment of what you, the intention of your life is, right? Because you've set the intention for who you, you want to be. And you can always ask, if you're like, I don't know what I want. I don't know who I want to be. You can always ask yourself, who do you wish you had growing up? Be that person for yourself. Who do you wish you had, right? I wish I had someone that was structured, that, you know, kept me in a check, that was playful, that we had fun, but it was like fun structure, you know? And so I'm like that with myself, right? It's fun structure, you know? Because that's what I, who I wish I had. So I'm going to be the version of myself that I'm inspired by. And we encourage you to do the same because it helps you to unlock and to unleash the abundance that is readily available for you. This is your affirmation. I feel abundant and live a rich life now. Universe says, well, actually, this is your affirmation. So you say, I am abundant. I am full of joy. I am living a rich life now. I connect to my inner desires and align them with love. I seek support from the universe by allowing abundance to flow to me. I am connected to my life and I live in joy. And your journal prompt, Scorpio, is how can I cultivate abundance in this moment? How can I cultivate abundance in this moment? So it's not about focusing on relationships that aren't feeling great for you. It's not about worrying about the outcome of what you are chasing. It's not about fretting the worst, none of that stuff, because that's going to keep you in the dark, 
right? When we see dark, we see dark. But when you focus on the, again, aligning your life action stuff, well, I know I want to exercise. I know I want to get some meditation and I know I want to spend time with myself. I know I got to get to my nine to five. I know I got to, you know, bake those cookies for, with grandma, you know, whatever it is that you got to do in that day or in that week or whatever it is, right? Well, okay. Well, energetically satisfying wise, if I wake up early and I get my workout and boom, two things done, woke up early and exercised, I'm good to go. Okay. I don't want to overdo it. Otherwise I'll be taxed for the rest of my day. So, you know what I mean? You just want to energetically plan that out and it's a feeling, right? So you want to sit with yourself in stillness, just quiet, right? And breathe into your heart, clear away that emotion and just feel out. Okay. If I place this here and I did this here, how would that feel? That feels pretty good. Although if I put this here, that would feel even better. Right. And that's kind of the process of how it goes. Universe's message for you. Everyone is doing their best. Universe says there are really only two types of people, those you now love and those you will love until there's only one type of person. And then we'll probably hit replay the universe. We love you so much, Scorpio. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.